to this XATR video. My name is Georgina and I'm the Product Development Manager here at XATR. I'm here to speak to you about our new and improved mini convertible roof trim seal kit. This kit is suitable for all mini convertibles, R52s and R57s from 2004 to 2015. For full information on compatibility and part numbers, please visit the link in the description below. It also has a link to our downloadable instruction guide, as well as a link to purchase the product on our website. We ship worldwide and we have a variety of shipping options available. The original mini roof trims suffer with cracked and brittle rubber and this can even cause water ingress into the roof and the boot of your mini convertible. If you go to a mini garage, they will tell you that you need to replace the entire chrome trim at hundreds and hundreds of pounds. No, God, please, no, 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 no! But with the XAR kit, you can repair your mini roof convertible for a fraction of the cost. Our repair kit repairs all of the original rubber on the top of your convertible roof trim. We have sold over 3,000 of these kits in the past two years, and we have hundreds of fantastic reviews. This is our brand new profile of trim. This is manufactured specifically for XAR and nowhere else in the UK sells this. Our seal matches the exact profile of the chrome trim and also comes with 3M VHB, which is the strongest double-sided tape on the market. In the kit, you will receive two lengths of these trims, one for each side of the chrome trim. You will also receive a bag filled with super glue, sandpaper, and a set of screws. The screws come in two different thread lengths. The original screws that come on the minis from factory are custom made from BMW. They are not available to purchase. They are also an extremely unusual pitch and thread. We have matched our screws as closely as possible and also made them stainless steel so they won't tarnish and rust in the future. Although our screws have a slightly different tool to fit them, they fit in exactly the same way as the originals. We also include sandpaper and super glue for fitting. The super glue is completely optional, which I will touch on later. To install, you will need to remove your roof trims. Pop open the boot and lift the side latches to raise the back of the convertible roof. You will need to remove the screws using a T20 Torx. If they are stuck, apply some WD-40 to all 14 of the screws and leave for a few minutes. Discard the old screws. Lift out the higher level brake light and turn it on its side, making sure to be careful with the wired connection. You do not necessarily need to unplug the high level brake light. There may be a lot of dirt behind the higher level brake light and behind the chrome trims. This is a good opportunity to clean the base of the canvas roof. Lift out the chrome trims. You can see here that the old rubber trims are brittle and cracked. Use a Stanley blade to cut away the old rubber trim. When doing so, only cut off the top portion of the trim, like so. You do not need to cut away at anything touching this chrome. Like so. The next step is to create a rough surface on the back of the chrome trim. This is so there is a surface that the double-sided tape can stick to. First of all, I'm just gonna give this a wipe as it does have quite a lot of dirt and residue on. And this dirt may stop the double-sided tape from being as effective and we don't want that. The only portion of the back of the chrome trim that we need to sand is the part that the double-sided tape is going to be touching. The best way to figure out what part of the chrome trim you need to sand down is just to press the new rubber trim onto the back and just visually inspect where you need to sand down. I'm going to take the sandpaper provided and just lightly buff this surface. If you have a Dremel, 
feel free to use that and use the sanding drum attachment. And just to remove any of the sanded dust. Dust! <laughs> Nobody? No? I'm gonna wipe it off one more time. And dry it. There we go. And our rubber trim should be able to stick to the back of our chrome trim nice and easily. And the next step is to stick the new rubber trim in place over the chrome trim. The best way to do this is by section by section, because then you know that you're gonna get a good stick on each section as you go. Don't take off the entire backing all in one go. You may find that it gets stuck to yourself, your sleeve, or the wrong part of the chrome trim. So starting on one side, ensure there is a good five centimeters at least on either side of the chrome trim. So take your 3M double-sided tape, press it over the chrome, and just onto the back of the plastic and press down. And just repeat this section by section until the entire rubber piece is attached to your chrome trim. I did mention earlier that the super glue is completely optional. If there are any points on your chrome trim that you're finding that it's just not sticking to the rubber very well, feel free to start dabbing some super glue on, but ensure that you do wear appropriate gloves just so you don't get any super glue on your fingers and you're not gonna stick yourself to the chrome trim. Another good reason for doing this section by section is simply because you don't want the rubber trim to stick to itself. Again, we have used 3M VHB, so that stands for very high bond. It is the strongest double-sided tape on the market, uh, so the trim can stick to itself. So ensure that you are doing it section by section. Now I've got quite a lot of excess on mine, so I'm just gonna take some tin snips and just cut that section off. So I've got probably at least 15 centimeters on that side and 10 centimeters of trim on that side. So you can see that the rubber trim completely covers any of the damaged original cracked rubber trim. I haven't needed to use any super glue on mine. The chrome is still as shiny as it was from factory and it looks brand new. So that took me all of two minutes to apply the entire rubber trim to the chrome trim and it looks brand new. So this is a before. So you can see how horrendously cracked all of this trim is. It's so brittle, I can literally break it off in my hands. And here is an after. You can see that our rubber trim looks completely brand new. It's really soft and flexible, so it's not gonna go brittle, it's not gonna break in the future. Repeat this on both sides of the chrome trim. It is exactly the same method on both left and right hand sides. Now it is time to put the chrome trims back on the vehicle. Insert the chrome trims back into the canvas roof. Make one cut where the rubber meets the centre of the roof behind the high level brake light. You want to trim down the centre section where the high level brake light inserts into. Cut out this section using a sharp Stanley blade as so. Trim the excess from the edges of the chrome trim, matching the angle on the edge of the chrome. Fit the new screws. Our screws utilize a 2.5 millimeter Allen key or hex head bit. Please note the screws with the longer thread hold in the high level brake light. So make sure you install those screws into those four slots. And that's our kit installed. 
We also have a downloadable instruction guide. You can access this guide by scanning the QR code on the packaging. Alternatively, click the link in the description. This product is now available to purchase on our website, eBay and Amazon stores. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact our technical team on the telephone number or email address on the screen. Thank you for watching this X8R video. My name is Georgina and please do check out all of our other products on our website and YouTube channel. I'm nervous. Can't believe I'm doing this. The things Kieran makes me do. Can you see my eyes? Is this transmitting? Hello. The original screws that come on your Mini from factory. No, I'm not going to say your Mini. That sounds disgusting. Especially with the word screw in the sentence. Hello. How are you doing? Yeah, not bad. <laughs> Testing. Stop being a QB.